Let's learn how to edit a button in the Snap Core First software. The process and the editing features I'm about to show you are available no matter the page set your communicator is utilizing. A button in Snap Core First has five main components, the label, message, symbol or picture, action, and style. From the software, navigate to the location where you want to create or edit an existing button. Select the edit icon. Select a blank button or the button that you want to edit. The first component is the label. This will be the text that is visible on the button. Next is the message. The message acts as the user's voice, therefore it's what's heard utilizing speech output. This will automatically match the label. However, you can edit it by selecting in the text box and typing. To have it again match the label, select the X. You also have the option to record the message rather than utilizing the synthetic voice. Additionally, you can select an audio file that is no more than two minutes in length from your computer or device that will be played when the button is activated rather than the message. To do this, select the audio file icon. Select Browse. Locate where your file is stored. And select your audio file. Select Next. And select Done. To preview the sound, select the play button. To remove the audio file, simply select the trash can. The next component is the symbol. Select the symbol or use a magnifying glass to search for a symbol. You can scroll through the options available, change the search term, or use the filter to find the perfect symbol. Select the symbol and then select Done. To use a real picture, use the camera icon. Select the From Camera option to use your device camera or select From Photo Library to select a picture stored on your device. Don't want or need a symbol for your communicator? Use the X to remove the symbol altogether. The next component is actions. Actions are what the button will do when the button is selected. The default action of buttons within Snap are to speak or insert the message of the button. If you see an arrow is next to the action when added, this indicates there are options. Select the arrow to see the options and to make a change. To add an action, select Add Action. Actions are grouped in categories, favorites at the top, then message actions, navigation actions, and so on. If you need a better explanation of what a specific action will do, select the information icon next to the category. And you'll see a brief description of each action within that category. You can also easily favorite an action within this menu by selecting the star. Selecting a star within this information menu or on the main action page will move that action to the top of the choose an action page for quicker access. We have also included a search bar so you can easily find the action you're looking for. Select the action that you want to add. If you want to delete the action, Use a trash can icon and select delete. To add additional actions, again, use the add action button and follow the same process. Finally, the last component of a button is the style of the button. Select style on the left side menu. Here you can change the background, border, font, and layout. Select the style feature that you'd like to change. Use the standard color options available, 
or select the pencil icon to create your own custom color. When selecting a custom color, you have the option to input the red, green, blue value, input the hex code, or use the color wheel and shade slider to find the perfect color. When a custom color is saved, it will be stored at the top of the color menu. The Edit Color menu and the Saved Custom Color options will be available for all features that allow for color editing. This includes button features, the button background, button border, and text. This can also include page, message, and toolbar backgrounds, as well as their text color. Custom colors will remain in the software until a new color is selected, even if that custom color is deleted from the menu. When you're finished editing or creating buttons, select Done to exit the edit mode and start using the software for communication. Way to go. Now you know how to edit buttons when the need arises. If you need assistance with additional editing, like learning how to link to a page, changing the grid size, importing a page bundle, and so on, explore the editing software or Snapcore First categories on the Learning Hub. You can also download the free Pathways app that has videos and guides to help you with these questions plus much more for supporting your AAC communicator.